Uh, we're going to uh, demonstrate how to make a panel cell using the colloquially named Claudio Gadget. First of all, we're just going to cut the top section out and then the a middle section of a, a fictitious RG65 sail. Okay? So we've laid the mylar over the over the sail uh, plot. Because I can plot out full size, these are I take these as a, a usable thing that we can easily plot a new one out. So we don't it doesn't matter if we actually go through to the, the paper pattern underneath. So there's one cut. And we'll just hold it down so it doesn't move. Two cuts. Three cuts. And four cuts. You've got two lines at the bottom of that section. Why have you got two lines? Ah, uh, yes. Well, that shows the overlap for the double sided tape. I'm going to come to that shortly. I just didn't go quite enough through that one. There we go. Always keep your hands behind the cutting edge. Unless you get things like that. But that's just putting it in the hole under a straw. Right, so that's the bottom section and we'll do the next section and just two points to mention. There is a, a line drawn through here. This is uh, forty percent of the cord, this this distance here. So that's forty percent, and that's forty percent, and that's forty percent. And this is what we call a pline in, in, in when you're cutting. So it's actually a series of straight lines which are then made into a curve. So it's not quite precisely forty percent, but it's a, a curve that follows a forty percent line. So it's important at this stage to mark that forty percent line on the overlap, which is here. So we mark that. Okay. And we don't stick it to ourselves and pull it off. Bit. If one didn't lose one's knife, one could find it. And again, we're on the overlap. This is past the next section on the bottom part of it, and on the top section on the top part of it, so you get the overlap. This is an experimental sale that sort of didn't, well, it does exist. So we take the old mylar off, which we've now made a run out of. Get rid of that. And put the section back on. And again, you would mark the 40% line there and again there if you're making the whole sail. We're only going to make this part of the sail which is not there, <laughs> which is here. What have I done? Okay. Yeah. So those those then are the same point, okay? And if we just mark the leading edge of the sail there so we know where it is. And we've got two points, so we're going to actually make a panel. Okay. Okay. okay this is a, what we call a Claudio gadget, or my version of it, and it's a square section piece of aluminium and a C section piece of aluminium, and it's got a central bolt through the middle with a line across the centre. And what we do with this is we actually just screw it down to the bench. never find the holes again that we had in the first place so we just make two new holes. Now the next important thing in this whole thing is two little cups. Now as you can see this is fairly flexible okay and on this fairly flexible bit there's a double piece of double sided tape okay that stays where it is. So what we do is we we know what that dimension is there, and we, if we're saying we want a a eight percent 
curve, we get this which you can download from the web, which is the Claudio tool for sale, wherever it says, making. And basically you get a series of, I use these business cards that are my old employer, okay, and what in this case he says you get 35 of them together and measure the distance and it, and it actually was uh, 10 centimeters so those are the two things that you put into the into the Excel program which it is and they give you these 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 uh, dimensions here so for say a hundred millimeters across the the width of the cord and you want say a eight percent so it would be two cards okay that's two cards per side so you need four right <laughs> according to my clever bit so what we do is we put that there the leading edge is to our left there are t two cards if I can split them up and we put the two cards close to where it would where it finishes there and two cards close to where it finishes there okay and you take that turn it round you line that bit up on the mark already made and you stick that without having any any things like that in it to that okay what we didn't do is get double sided tape out and feed that. To reiterate, we're lining this up, this edge of the mylar, with the straight edge of the thing that doesn't move, which is the square section tube. We're not lining it up with the, the thing that has moved into an arc, okay? So what we do now is, we take out those, and we put the very special clever clamps on the end, so everything is now parallel and we now, as you can see, have got a curve ok you can see how it, how it flicks from one side to the other so it, there's a curve, because that's now straight ok so what we do now is, we get our double sided tape and you probably will get special stuff, but that's from now what I do is I'm going to line this tape up with this line here and then I'm going to cut it off because it's too wide. Now I'm not trying to stretch that tape at all. That's a, you do, you, <laughs> it eventually crinkle on you. So well now I'm going to cut that tape to the right thickness by putting the blade in between the two parts of the Cla Claudio gadget. And then I'm going to take that bit off. Like that. I discarded. Yeah, my rock that out. <laughs> okay, so we're now going to attach the second part of the thing. Remember, the leading edge of the of the sail is here, and there it is there, and there's the 40% mark. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to put that again, dead straight, onto the mark. We're lining these marks in the middle and sticking it down. Now the next bit is quite tricky. But what we've got to try and do now is remove it from the sticky that's already stuck to the Claudio gadget. And once we've done that, we have a panelled sail. Yeah, you did you hold it in? No, that's better. You can see how it's, how it's got an aerofoil shape now. So obviously the next thing to do is to trim off the double sided tape and carry on with the rest of the sale.